Hello students, I hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to start chapter number 5 that is he or she, male or female. So let's start. Hi, I am Mona. This is my birthday album. Can you sort out he and she in the picture? Okay, let's do. So, here is a picture given of a birthday album where Mona is celebrating her birthday with her family and friends. So, we have given box for he and for she. Now, let's do that. So, students, the person who are male, like our father, brother, is considered as he. And the person who are females, such as your mom, your sister, your aunt, etc. are considered as and come in the section of she. So, let's begin. So, as we can see the male group, the names are as given. Vijay, Pankaj, Heyman and Rubel. And in the she section, we have given Mona, Meeta, Sarika and Pooja. Okay, let's move to the part A. Look at the pictures and read the sentences. This is a boy. We can see the picture of boy. Okay, next we can see the picture of girl. So, this is a girl. Next we have a picture of a man. There is written, this is my father. Next, we have a picture given of woman. So, we will write, this is my mother. Next, we have a picture and written, this is my uncle. And next picture given as, this is my aunt. Before the next picture, there is a sentence given that is, this is my grandfather. And for the next picture, we have given, this is my grandmother. The words boy, father and uncle belongs to he group or the male group. The words girl, mother and aunt and grandmother belongs to she group or the female group. As I have earlier told you. Okay students, let's move to part B. Learn more words of the he group and the she group. Okay, as you can see, there's two boxes, masculine and feminine. Given as, in masculine section, brother and in the feminine section, sister. In the masculine section again, grandfather, grandmother, man, woman, uncle, aunt, father, mother, son, daughter, boy, girl. And in the next box, we have given masculine and feminine. So, let's read. Pick up and in the feminine section, peehen. Sir, madam, prince, princess, tiger, tigress, hero, heroine, bullock, cow, king, queen. Okay, students, let's read part C. Write the opposite naming word of the word given below. One has been done for you. So, let's see. Okay, students, we have given number one. That's for brother. There is written sister. And what we have to write? Opposite of the word. So, let's do. For the next, there is given son. And what is the opposite word for son? Yes, you are right. It's daughter. The third number we have given king and what is the opposite of king? Yes, you are correct. Queen. Next we have lion. Okay, for lion we will write lioness. On the number fifth we have given uncle. What is the opposite naming word for uncle? Yeah, it's aunt. Okay, next we have given nephew. What would you write? Yes, you have guessed right. That is niece. Okay, let's go for number 7. We have given daughter. So, opposite word for daughter is son. Last but not the least, we have given man. What is the opposite word for man? Yes, 
you are right. For man, we will write woman. So let's move to the part D. Match the two columns. One has been done for you. So we have given two groups. He group words and the she group words. What we have to do? We have to match he group to the she group. So number one is peacock. And we can see in the another group at number four, option D is peahen. So what has been done already? Yes, peacock match to peahen. Let's go to number two and there is written bull. What's the exact word we should choose from another group? Yes, you are right. On the A, cow. So we will match bull to the cow. Next on the number three, we have given king. And as we can see, we have given queen in the another group in the last. That's number F. So we will match number three king to F. Queen. Let's go to fourth. Number four, we have dog. And we can see in the she group, we have given pitch at B position. So, we will match dog to the bitch. Now, next and number five, we have given horse. And we can see we are left with two only. So, at C, we can see mare. So, we will match horse to the man. Last but not the least, we have left one and that's sir. And where we match it? To the madam. So, we will pick six and draw a line to E and match them. Okay, student, let me ask you one oral question. What is feminine for a horse? Yes, we have already done that. You are right, that's mare. Okay, students, did you know the masculine for niece is nephew? Okay, kids, after all that, let's do an interesting activity. Circle the he group words and underline the she group words. Okay, students, in this first series, we have given grandfather. We already have read it. Grandfather comes to he group. So, we will circle it. Next, we have Linus, what we will do? Underline it because it belongs to she group. Next we have uncle. Uncle comes to he group. So we will circle it. Next we have niece and we will underline it. Okay, in the next series we have given cow, brother, aunt and queen. So for the cow we will underline. For brother we will circle. For aunt we will again underline. And for the queen, yes, we will underline it. In the next series of words, we have given sister, prince, man and mother. So, for sister, we will underline. For prince, we will circle. For man, we will circle. And for the mother, of course, we will underline. Next series, father, boy, tiger and girl. So, for father, we will circle for boy we will circle for tiger of course we will circle and for girl of course we will underline so student did you enjoy this session that's nice we will meet in the next class until then bye bye take care thank you so much